What is up, self-made homestead family? Listen, I got a bunch of hangry people in my house right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this recipe for you guys. Welcome to the Off Grid Gourmet. It's a new playlist brought to you by Self-Made Homestead, where the boss and I are gonna take some classics and make them in 100% off-grid fashion. Today, we are making one of my favorite LA dishes. We are going to be making chicken and waffles, okay? I'm doing the chicken 100% off-grid on our new catch and cook grill and deep fryer. So stay tuned to the end and you'll learn how we do it. Step one, I've got the chicken in a bowl here marinating in buttermilk with some seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, got some seasoned salt and a whole bunch of deliciousness marinating right here, okay? You can use that as your dredge for the dip dip on the flour side. Additionally, I've got a bag here. This bag has salt, pepper, seasoned salt, garlic. It's got a bunch of Creole seasonings, paprika, and it's all mixed in with some potato chips that have been crushed down in this bag. I'm gonna add this to about two cups of flour so that I can dredge from here and then dunk and rest here with the flour mix, okay? So stay tuned for that. While I'm getting that going and it's resting, marinating, looking all ready, we're gonna get the stove set up outside. The catch and cook will be set up outside because it's a propane burner and I don't want anybody to get sick from the fumes. So stay tuned to the end. We'll make this and some delicious waffles to feed the whole family. The idea being, you too can make some delicious off-grid food with a little bit of help. Stay tuned. All right, so the chicken's been marinating in the dredge for about an hour and a half, close to two hours. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the oil hot and I'm gonna combine the ingredients for the breading while we get going here. So what you're gonna need, if you watched my short yesterday, I went to Goodwill and I picked up that pan for six bucks. It was perfect size because it fits in there. Okay, so today what we're gonna do, I'm gonna fill it about a third of the way, halfway through with oil and we're gonna get that going. Um, you're gonna need, uh, I have a couple of different barbecue utensils here. That's the propane bottle, it's a one pound propane bottle. Then I've got a striker for igniting the flame and we're gonna burn inside today. So in my initial video, I showed you guys how the burner will work up top where the pan is. It'll also work inside here so you can keep it contained, which is what you wanna do when you're frying stuff. So that's the fryer and grill aspect. The grill will go up top where the pan is and the fryer goes down here on the bottom, but you can do it either way. You can continue to keep it in here to keep it 100% protected, but I like to be able to use either option so that you can keep your ingredients or your cooked food in the secondary pan, which we showed you in the video. By the way, that link's in the description, uh, or you can keep it going like this. So I can grill on that stainless grate there, or I can use the grate on, or sorry, I can use this pan on top of the grate and then use that as a surface as well. So I'm gonna get the fire going and get the oil going and we're gonna go back inside while that warms up and combine the ingredients and get the chicken ready for frying. All right guys, so I got the fire going and here's what I was talking about earlier. I welded those tabs on the top so that I can hold pans and skillets and things like that on the top and use that as a cook surface. I got the heating element inside now and I got the oil loaded in the pan. So what we're gonna do now, while this is getting warm, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna combine the ingredients for the flour and the seasoning, get the chicken breaded and resting so that when the oil's hot, we can throw and go. The boss is inside. Uh, getting the waffles ready. And for this video, we're gonna use house power for that. So this will be the, the off-grid aspect, the chicken. But for the next video, I'm gonna use my bike generator and the inverter. So be sure you stay tuned to this series because all of the things we built are designed to keep your family fed in an emergency, all right? So I'll check back in from the inside. We're gonna check in with the boss and we'll get this chicken breaded. Okay, so I've taken the seasonings that were in that bag and combined them with two cups of flour. My chicken's here resting. I put it in a bag so it would be protected from the elements. Now I'm gonna take it from here, bread it on this, and then rest it over here. Here we go. All right, so that's the setup. I got two of the four pieces in the fryer now. And I'm not using these because that is coated with Teflon, so I'm using the silicone. 
These are backups for service. I always like to lay out. I'm real OCD. That's touched raw stuff. That's for the cook stuff. Just make sure you keep it clean, even at the campsite. But you can hear it it's going well. You'll see here in a second, I pull this out to flip them just so that I don't get any backsplash or any grease fires happening inside the cooker. But it's working very well. I'll check back when they're golden brown and delicious. All right, so I got her frying on the inside now because I'm here to maintain the flame. That's the valve and that will control the heat. I got the lid on the top so we can control the back flash. Now, pro tip, what you wanna do is make sure that when you adjust this or when you move it around at all, you got the lid on it and you got some heavy duty gloves so that when you flip them, which I'll do here shortly, you can pull it out, rest it on the top, flip them, put them back in. That way you don't expose grease to the flame. You don't wanna have a nice grease fire on your hands, okay? Exercise some common sense. I'll check back when we flip. So this is, pardon the car is passing. This is how you'd use it as the top fryer, okay? I just flipped them. I got everything getting golden brown, okay? I'm gonna put it back in here, but I wanted to show you, you could use it both ways. Uh, this pan, which I got for six bucks, I'm pretty impressed with, fits perfectly on the top. All right, that's two of four. Check back when it's golden fried and delicious. There we go after another flip. Looking real good. Everything's going the way it should. Love it when a plan comes together. A-team reference. Oh man, it's looking delicious and I'm getting hungry. That's two of four. I'm about to throw the other two breast fillets in. Now, always remember you want 165 for your chicken. Don't serve anybody you love anything undercooked. 165, stay alive. Write it down. I'm gonna see if I can't do this one-handed. Always remember, when you're putting the stuff in the oil, lay away. Lay away from you, okay? Baptized by fire. Second piece. In. Make sure they're not on top of each other. Spread them out. Lid goes back on and they get back in the fire. And now I'm done with those tongs. And there it is. The first meal in the Off Grid Gourmet series. Chicken and waffles. Brought to you by the Self Made Homestead. If you like this video, mash that subscribe button. Also like and share the video so we can get the word out. People are gonna need to know how to do this in the absence of utilities like electric and all of these other things with rolling blackouts looming and all these other things happening, you gotta stay ready for you and your family. This is Mike and the boss signing off from the self-made homestead. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.